J-Drone here. What's going on, Potensic D60? Not the old one. We got a new one. And the issue with the with that D60, which is that D60, which you haven't seen me fly a lot, was the camera. It wasn't recording to the SD card. They've claimed to have fixed that on that. So what we are going to do is quite simply plug in our battery, get our battery plugged in here, and we're going to give this a go. Manzo lights up immediately. And one of these are it. Hmm. Probably this one. Bam. Maybe throttle up and throttle down. I think we're connected. I think we are connected. We got a blue light blink in there. Um, I got uh, LEDs right there. We're going to connect to the app. We are going to connect to the app and see if maybe it's calibration time. I haven't read the instructions. I also didn't revisit one of my older videos. Um, one of these antennas, the, I believe it's the one on the right. The right antenna actually has a wire. It is the one on the right going through it. So you definitely want that one up or facing so it's flicking out signal to the drone. The other one does not need to be up because it is fake and there is no wire going through it. Um, what we will do here is we need to go into our settings. Let's go into settings and let's go ahead and find Wi-Fi. And then we will go ahead and look for this drone, which is UDIRC GPS 021044. No, uh, no password on it. So we're going to go back out of that. It should be connected, and it should be the same Potensic app that we used before. Um, so hopefully it's that one that I have right there. But, okay. It needs to install, so I need to connect back to my Wi-Fi. So I'll go over here, and we're going to click back. We're going to click here. I need to click to my home Wi-Fi and get the drone app updated, which hopefully it's updating now. Come on. It is updating. Give me a few seconds. I do apologize for this. Um, it says loading. We're almost at 3 o'clock position unloading. I only have two bars in my drone room. My uh, router is out there. But again, if you are not familiar with this drone, guys, look. Check it out. Look at the camera. Go down. Go up down it's one axis gimbal i was excited about this just because of that because essentially it's a bugs 2 it's a bugs 2 a hubson uh 501 whatever you want to call it with a 1080p camera with a one axis gimbal so that means when you on a, a no wind day where wind's not going to blow it left to right when you're pitching forward it's canceling out the pitch if you're backpedaling it's canceling out the pitch um it is definitely something good to have uh, this app says loading. It is still loading. I don't know if there's any type of lights underneath it that would show uh, the camera. There probably is uh, underneath this, which will rip it off. I left it off on that one, but there is a light underneath this. It is steady lit. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to run this through calibration without that. Okay, so left arms are blinking and once roundy roundy calibration right arms are blinking let's go ahead and head down and calibrate bam so we should be good to go now it's doing uh it's doing a roundabout led dance and that's probably just searching for satellites uh let's see if our app has updated yet um i don't know what all that was about but we got to do a couple things off screen to show you that you don't need the app you can calibrate this the lights are spinning again it did start running again so it probably lost the gps satellites that it had gathered we are clicking go flying and we are in go flying it says weak gps signal it's locked on to seven satellites in the house which is fairly impressive um what i want to do here the battery is sitting at 100 percent and i have two cords here check it out stock cord that is the stock cord that's the stock wire i've trimmed off the usb i've added two lossy connections that way i could charge each individual cell by themselves and here check it out we've locked on the seven satellites which i think i just said we were locked on to and uh, it's good as far as GPS hole goes. I want to go ahead and put this back. Maybe we'll put it in the air in here. See what happens. Um, and then also start recording. Um, I've tried recording from this. Uh, we will also try recording from the app. And see that we get something here. So let's go down and out. Is that not going to fire the motors? How do we fire the motors? Do we have to do it through app? That looks like it just did a calibration down and out. How about ends? Okay, ends. It 
sitting there. It's moving around a little bit, but that's pretty impressive for a GPS drone in the house. It's locked on to seven satellites. I'm gonna go ahead and press record. It should be recording. Now it's buckling. It's probably losing the satellites as it decides to dip a little bit. So I'm gonna try to keep hold of it and, and control of it. That way it doesn't go crazy. Go ahead and just turn this way or not. <laughs> I need to be careful because again, whoo, that's why. Because it's connected to, we're gonna stop recording and now it shows weak GPS signal, um, zero satellites. Um, in-house with a GPS drone, I don't suggest you doing that because exactly what happened. A part of this roof might be thicker than, uh, than other parts of it. I do know there's trees on this side of my house and the trees come over here and immediately when it went over there it went to zero GPS satellites. I'm going to see if maybe we could put it in altitude hold mode and uh, see what we can do here. Now it says it's locked on to seven GPS satellites. Um, I don't think there's a way to put this into altitude hold mode. Um, we're going to go into settings and custom route height max flight height max flight distance it says it can go a thousand meters we'll definitely have to test that and there's the gps grabbing again Doo -doo 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 -doo. let's go let's see i don't know don't know um uh, calibration off map no no transmission quality hd or low make sure that's on hd Horizontal calibration, compass calibration. Um, we've done the compass calibration. Let's go ahead and do... So we've done a horizontal calibration prior, but you can press it on screen. Down and out. I think. We did down and out before, and it did that. Um, we're going to go ahead and put it up in the air again, despite the fact... Um, it's not smart, but I really want to check out this camera here. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and just put it up. We'll take a picture in the room. Take a picture. And again, tilting it upwards isn't doing anything for the camera because we have this gimbal. So you actually have to raise it up if you want a different perspective. And we'll take a picture. And now we will get this back in the air, which again is not that smart. And actually it says weak GPS signal. Zero satellites probably because my hand was over top of it. But even with zero, it'll let you fire. We're going to kind of keep it in front of ourselves and not really yaw around. Because I don't want to uh, smack this too many times before I get this outside. What we're going to do, we're going to long hold. It shows on screen that I'm recording. And I'd like to keep this in the air for like a minute or so. It's showing I'm in GPS mode. And as you can see, it's starting to fluctuate around. Just because, again, it's raining out. We're in a house. It's trying to grab satellites. And uh, it's not the best mixture. But, I mean sitting there for the most part and then it starts to hover where it starts to wander I'm sure outside if it's doing this well inside it'll probably do a lot better outside with uh, no magnetic interference motors on drones or magnetic and GPS drones do not like magnets so I can't see a counter as far as how how long we've been recording for so we're just going to keep it up a little bit longer gonna, and again this thing uh, wants to move occasionally because we're inside and there it just blinked again so maybe it grabbed GPS satellites. Again this isn't a really good test of anything besides the fact is this recording to the SD card. Did they actually fix the problem? I mean, it's a good test to show you why not fly a GPS drone like this in the house. Um, just because it's not a smart mix. 
especially when it's raining out, especially when you have trees over side of the room that you're in. And as you can see, it keeps blinking in and out. Um, it keeps losing the GPS the closer we get towards that window, where again, we have trees over top of the house, um, where it's not clear up through, if that makes any sense. It's not clear up through point period because we have a roof over top of our head, but a roof with wet trees and rain and poor mixer. We've had to been in the air for a little while here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to try to grab this out of the air. And I'm just holding down. Maybe we'll easy there. Right, I think I need both hands to shut this down. No. I'm holding down. Alright. Try not to cut myself and just put this there. There we go. It probably recognized the altitude as not being zeroed out because that's where it was and being up higher. Um, but we it shows we're still recording. I'm going to stop recording. And we're still at 81% battery. I don't know much more what I can do in here with this. Um, definitely can't go outside. It's pouring outside. Uh, we'll go ahead and lift up and take a picture of me. Take a picture of J-Drone. we're just gonna bam so the app itself the app uh corresponded with my click i don't know here we'll try to hold it there that way you guys could see it maybe raise up just a little bit more and i'm gonna press the button snap and then we'll start recording long hold and we took a picture while recording, so that's good to know. While you're recording, you might be able to take a picture. Um, the recording is still recording. What up? And as you can see, that one access gimbal right there moving. We are getting movement in our picture, but if we go forward and we go backwards and forward and backwards, it works pretty well. As long as you're not bouncing up and down like I was and you're actually mimicking flight characteristic um, it works out pretty well we're just gonna move this around that way and then put this down hopefully we got a high frame uh, per second that this is recording in we're gonna go ahead and stop um, I think that's good for this video right here we will definitely get this outside when it's not raining and get a flyability test on it and get a further look at the camera and again if if this it, beep when that goes solid, the blue goes solid, your blinky lights around goes solid, that means it thinks you have sufficient GPS satellites, which we're locked on to eight satellites right now in the house. So that's pretty impressive because, again, outside it is cloudy, it is raining. I got trees over that portion of uh, the room that we are in. Uh, so this should be a really good drone. Um, the, the blue one up there, it was a good drone. It was a good flyer. It was a nice drone, but the capability to record to the one-axis gimbal wasn't capable they've said they fixed it you already know if they fixed it because i've done picture and picture and whatnot i don't know yet i'm hoping they fixed it if they fixed it this is going to get a thumb and up in j drone's book and then we will have to get this outside again guys um the stock charger that is the stock charger the wires are really thin it takes forever to charge I still happen to have two of them because I have two of these drones. All I've done is I tested the polarity. I plugged this in and I tested the polarity on each of the wires to figure out which one was which and uh, connected lossy connections. Uh, your far left, which is marked, let's see, far left. Okay, so your far right, which is actually marked with a stripe on it, that's positive. Next one's negative. Um, and then these actually twist this way. Next one's positive, next one's negative, despite the fact on the battery it shows positive on the outs and negatives on the ends. Guys, I'm Jay Drone. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, smash the subscribe button, questions, comments, concerns down below. Look forward to getting this out again. And again, the noise that we are hearing is the GPS cutting in and out, and that's why the flight characteristics were such as what they were. Again, blinking in and out. It's searching for GPS. Bam! We found GPS. Oh, we lost GPS. We found GPS. Oh, we lost GPS. <laughs> um, we found GPS. Uh, and that's that's typical with the drone inside, outside raining, cloudy, trees overboard. Um, again, if you haven't subscribed, smash the subscribe button. If you are new to the channel, this is the drone zone. This is the mother load here. 
Um, I am not a YouTube reviewer by any means. Do I review drones? Absolutely. But I am not a reviewer. I am a you. I am a consumer. I love to fly. I love RC. And that's why this channel exists. Later.